You want to create a safe living learning environment for the community because the soil that we're trying to develop is actually the community. Um, so you want to start with healthy soil, a healthy community. So becoming a seed to supper facilitator is more than just gardening. It's about community development. It's about community education. It's about community empowerment. And in Parker Palmer's book, Healing the Heart of Democracy, The Courage to Create a Politics Worthy of the Human Spirit, he talks about these five habits of the heart. And these five habits can be used as a roadmap to develop a community garden, but also to create a community. Community members have to understand that the community garden is about everyone. And the success of the garden is about everyone. And that we're all in the gardening, we're all in the community together, not one person sticks out. We have to stick together in order to create our community. But also it's an appreciation of the value of everyone. Everybody comes into a community different. Everyone's story is different. Um, everyone's food choice is different. But we have to address this and understand and appreciate that diversity. But then also, with diversity comes tension. And the third habit of the heart is an ability to hold tension in life-giving ways. Tension can arise, but there's a way to use that tension and create a community through tension and actually recycle the tension and devote that tension to actually developing a community garden, developing community education efforts around a garden. But within the fourth habit of the heart is a sense of personal voice and agency. When we honor life, when we honor people's agencies, when we honor their voices and their personal backgrounds, we create community. So for people who are going into communities that they're not used to, the process of being self-reflexive has to occur because you're going to come up against things that you're not used to and you have to be sensitive to. They're going to the fifth habit of the heart, which is the capacity to create community, which is when we, when we honor life, when we honor people's agencies, when we honor their voices and their personal backgrounds, we create community. But creating community is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process. It's a process of recreating and rethinking and reimagining what a community is.